Hi heathens! So today's video is going to be my November 2020 Ear Fleek. Those of you who do not know, Ear Fleek is a monthly earring subscription. Um, these are not from Ear Fleek, but you get this obviously once a month. And it is, I believe, like $3.50 for a pair of earrings every month. They have a higher tier. Not exactly sure what the difference is. I think it runs like $8 a month. Um, but either way, I really enjoy Ear Fleek and tend to like every pair that I get. I have signed up for the um, I don't give a hoot variety, meaning I don't care what kind of earrings they send me. Every couple months they send you a like survey where you can swipe right or left on earrings to let them know if you like that style, if you're interested in possibly receiving them one month. And that's kind of what they go off of to send you. So what I've been doing recently when I receive these is unbagging them, putting them in, and then doing a makeup look inspired by whatever the pair of earrings is. So without further ado, let's get right on in. So obviously it comes in this little mailer. And then inside here you have another little mailer, little pink one, and then inside of that you get the little bag that the earrings come in. So these look super simple. They come in this little pink drawstring bag. So it comes with a price card. These retail for $15.99 USD. And this is what they look like. They usually come connected by this little plastic piece. And this is what the earrings look like. They've got a little wooden black piece with a little silver triangle. I think these are super cute. They got a little bit of person. Oh no! They have a little bit of personality. Um, I dropped one. So I'm going to put this one in while I get the other one somewhere off the floor. So, <laughs> pardon me. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh no. I don't see it. I oh, found it. It, funnily enough, fell on top of a black hanger. So if it hadn't been for the little silver bit sparkling, I wouldn't have seen it. It would have been there for, you know, who knows how long. So, this is what they look like in, like I said, super cute. They're very kind of classic, but like I said, have a little bit of edge, a little bit of personality. So now, to make a look around them, I'm going to try to use, because they're super simple, so I don't want to do anything too over the top. I'm going to try to use stuff already on my desk because I've already been out of frame. So let's reach up in here and see if we have any ColourPop Super Shocks that would be good for this. Ooh, this is nice and it'll give it a little bit of something interesting. So for the main color on my eyes, I'm going to go in with this. This is an oldie but a goodie. It is the shade Envy in the ColourPop Super Shocks. I hope it shows up on camera. It's like a black, but with gold and purple reflect. And I like using these primarily with my finger. You just get a bit. And then, oh, I'm gonna help if I took my glasses off. The only thing I have on right now is mascara because I decided might as well leave it on because I use mascara for pretty much any look I ever do. So there was no point in taking it off if I could help it, which I was able to do. So on my eye, uh, in this lighting, it definitely comes across more black, but like flat, it comes across more purple. And I love the formula for Super Shocks. They're just so nice. So what I'm going to do is build up a decent layer like this on each eye from 
inner corner to outer corner and I'm not going much higher above the crease or I'm not going much above the crease I'm pretty much going just to the crease I don't know how well you can tell where it is versus my crease and like I said I'm gonna try to get close to the lash line so I'm just taking a little bit extra and tapping it right on my lash line so that it doesn't have that stark you know skin colored bit right above my lash line and then what I'm gonna do is take a decently fluffy brush this is an angled BS mall brush and I'm going to just dip into it just enough to get a little bit of pigmentation and we're going to just use that to help blend the edges just a little bit so that it's not quite as harsh as me just using my finger to place it mm. Want it a little more blended than that. All right, that's a little better. That side's a little higher too. All right, and then for inner corner, I'm going to be using another Super Shock, which is the shade Bubbly. It's a really pretty pink, which I'm sure you can tell that I've used quite a bit more of this than I have of Envy. I'm just going to take my pinky and pick up a little bit, and we're going to pop that right here. It's a very, very glittery shade. And then same thing on the other eye. Pop that in. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna actually use, I say new because I haven't used it before, but it's not new as in a recent purchase. It's new as in I bought it a while back and forgot. This is the Beauty Benefits Glow with the Flow highlighter in the shade Pink Ice. This was a Dollar Tree find a while back, and then I just forgot about it and threw it in a box of stuff that was supposed to go in the bathroom, which was supposed to just be skincare stuff. Um, clearly this is not, so I haven't tried this before, and we're going to swatch it and see. Okay. Uh, it's subtle. It's not, I tend to go for very shimmery glittery highlights this is not that but it's pretty so i'm going to take a fluffy brush we're going to pick quite a bit of that up tap off the excess and then down the high points of the face and then same thing on the other side this would be a nice, like, everyday highlighter. And I mean, for a dollar, uh, you're definitely getting your money's worth. I hope you can see that. Then for lips, let's see. Hmm. What does this call for? Let's go with just a lip oil. This is the Yensa Super 8 Lip Oil in Pink Shine. I think it'll help tie in the pink without being overwhelming. Oh, this smells so good. And also moisturize my nice chapped lips. Because once I finish filming this, I have to go cook. So putting on a lipstick would just be overkill. Because it's going to come right off anyway. So I'd rather not dry out my lips any more than uh necessary. See it's just got that nice shine making them look juicy. And uh, 
I guess that's it because this is the kind of look that I would do on an everyday basis to go along with these earrings and I feel like this does it justice you could definitely glam these up but I feel like this is what I would do something similar to this so let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more of my content. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.